you know when your spindle needs repairing when, um, first of all, you're not making good parts. That, that, that's the very first thing. Uh, other things can be an increase in temperature, an increase in vibration, or if you notice any unusual noise. This happens to be a Gilman spindle that's been out in service since 1989. Shaft is worn on the taper. There's also um, fretting that's on the bearing journals. Uh, the bearings are, they don't look too bad, but they're, they're a little bit contaminated with, uh, with um, coolant and chips. Uh, the seals look pretty bad. Our job is to make the spindle look and operate like new when it leaves this plant. Gilman is able to diagnose problems with spindles in need of repair and all repaired spindles undergo rigorous analysis before heading back to the customer. So what we're doing here is we have a spindle housing that's in for repair. We need to inspect the board and make sure it's at the right size. And it's as simple as taking the air gauge and putting it in the hole and then reading the dial to make sure that I'm within that range. I have this spindle housing again. Now that we've checked the bore sizes and they've checked out okay, I want to check the geometrics of that spindle feature of that spindle bore feature and it's as simple as getting the part centered on a rotating table and I have some elect an electronic indicator set up and we're going to go ahead and uh, take a scan on this piece what we had is the bearing had spun and that's showing up in here because it's not showing that it's not in very good shape so what we'll do with this housing is we'll suggest to the customer that we'll grind it oversize chrome plate it and then regrind it so that it's back to like new. We do a vibration analysis. That tells you if your spindle, if there's any uh, vibration in it out of balance or if there's any type of alignment or bearing problem. Contact Gilman today for your spindle repair.